You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters. Well, we're going to talk about Caitlin Clark, but this time we're going over to Las Vegas Aces head coach Becky Hammond. She came out like three days ago and made these strange comments about where is all this supposed hate coming from from these players involving uh, Kaitlyn Clark and, of course, for example, her player, Aja Asia Wilson, who, of course, made comments about the fact that Kaitlyn Clark's popularity is tied to her being white and not black or brown. I mean, they've made this thing about race now for about the last three weeks. And the most absurd part about that is her player is standing right next to her, acting like she's got no idea uh, why these comments could be coming out. And she tried to double back and acted like she was supporting Caitlin Clark. Well, I didn't make a video about that. All right? I didn't make a video about those comments. But I'm making a video about this one because Becky Hammond has come out and made another statement about about Caitlin Clark and the issue that black and brown athletes aren't celebrated in this country. <laughs> I'm going to show you some things that makes that just that statement as absurd as it sounds. And it's pretty absurd. So this was Becky Ham Hammond the other day. All right, listen to this. We love Caitlin Clark. Yes. There's <laughs> no. <laughs> I think she's amazing. I watched every time I possibly could, God, and our God. and our league loves her. This has nothing to do. We're just doing our job. We're gonna show up. <laughs> Who is ever on the other team is on the other team. We don't really care. We're gonna show up and do us. And so I think this narrative of like. Everybody, everybody yeah. hating on Caitlyn Clark, it's and there. even the black and white thing. Yeah. Knock it off. It's not there. It's not there. That's where we're going to cover that. Let's be clear. We love Caitlyn Clark. I think the narrative of everybody hating on her, knock it off. It's not there. Now, we know that's not true because her very own player standing right next to her hated on Caitlyn Clark. Well, Becky Hammond has came out and made more comments, and these are insanely absurd i don't even know what to say but listen to this and if you can't pick it up i'll boost the i'll boost the volume in post but we'll take a look at her comments as a whole but this is crazy because now becky hammond is making this a black brown versus white issue right now the coach that just said it wasn't is now making it said issue well, I think um, it's construed as some of our minority black and brown women are hating on her because she's white, and that is not the case. What, let's take Caitlin out of the picture. What I think is upsetting is it's not about Caitlin. Caitlin, give her her flowers. She's done stuff that no man or woman, black or white, has ever done in college basketball. Give that woman her flowers. But what it does is it has highlighted how black and brown greatness has not been celebrated or valued as much. That's what I was talking about. Okay. Now, let's go back just in case you didn't fully get that. Okay, so this is exactly what she said just now, right? And of Kate, uh, this is OutKick. She followed up those comments the other day. It's construed as some of our minority and black and brown women are hating on her because she's white, and that's not the case. Let's take Caitlyn out of the picture. What I think is upsetting, it's not about Caitlyn. Give her her flowers. She's done stuff that no man or woman, black or white, has ever done in college basketball. Give that woman her flowers. But what it does is it has highlighted how black and brown greatness has not been celebrated or valued as much. That's what I'm talking about. Hammond told the media over the weekend. There's the press conference I just showed. Now, just like we said the other day, I think it's a narrative of everybody hating on Caitlyn, even a black-white thing. Knock it off. It's not there. It's not there. So you literally just come out, 
two days later and you say, well, it is a black and brown issue. Now, she come out and said they're not celebrated or not valued as much. Now, Michael Jordan, his estimated net worth is $3 billion, folks. Now, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but unless I'm going nuts, Michael Jordan's a black man. Michael Jordan is black, all right? And we all know the kind of monster NBA viewership, the, the interest in the league, everything that came around Michael Jordan being celebrated and valued as a black athlete. As an athlete. LeBron James, $1.2 billion. Tiger Woods, in a much less popular sport, $1.3 billion. Serena Williams, $300 million. And as we all know, tennis is, in general, a much less popular sport. This is utterly absurd. Becky Hammond just come out and said, none of this was about race. And then two days later, she makes it all about race. It's, it's absurd. And again, her own star on her team, the WNBA, what, two-time MVP and all these accolades that everybody keeps telling me is so great and that she's moved the needle so much on that she couldn't get a signature shoe until, until woke backlash from the media and from woke WNBA fans. The, the few fans that were actually, and I, I contest, those people weren't even watching the league. Let's be real. But she got a signature shoe after the backlash and after it was made about race. I mean, this is nuts, folks. It is absolutely absurd. Truly. And do I think, honestly, it is to a point a black and white issue? Look, fans are not, fans are not interested in Caitlin Clark because she is white. That's not the thing. Okay? Nobody gives a rip about that. But I know one thing. These players are hating on her, let's be real, because she's white and straight in a league full of activists. Black and lesbian activist. I don't know how else to say it. I mean, we... <laughs> white people in general have become public enemy number one. White women to a much lesser extent than, 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 than straight white men. But they're still a target now. Let's be honest. We're trying to act like that these players aren't hating on her in part because of her color? Really? Because the last... How many years, and I, I say it's played a major role in why the WNBA ratings aren't any higher than they've been in the interest. It's because for last how many years, these activist basketball players have told us how much they can't stand white folks, Black Lives Matter, anybody? A Marxist organization? NBA, too, has suffered from that. Crazy. This coach is out, I mean... Uh, black athletes aren't as valued and celebrated. When you start making in the billions, you've been celebrated plenty. Seriously. Now, LeBron probably could have made more money if he hadn't run his mouth about how much he doesn't like white people. I don't know if LeBron's trying to undergo some kind of an image change lately or what. He has been making some sense lately. Uh, I don't know what that's about yet. I really don't. Wow. I mean, these these coaches and these players, and I still couldn't get over her comments the other day. Where Where is all of this supposed hate coming from? Well, let me... I, I, let's pull out all the articles and take a look at all the quotes from all the players. Tarasi, Griner, Wilson, Reese... Another coach, Cheryl Reeve. Becky Hammond, stop it. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.